We get a lot of amateurs back here that don't know what they're doing whenever it comes to four-wheeling, and we end up with situations like this. This is probably one of the worst ones I've seen back in here. Our helicopter's out doing routine patrol and observed a uh, van out here. We've had a lot of problems. You're not gonna be able to get through there. We've had a lot of problems out here in this area with people driving stolen autos up in here and abandoning them and burning them. So, uh, man, this looks like about as far as we're gonna get. We're gonna get out on foot and walk up and see if we can make contact. He's got some folks out here too wandering around, so we'll make sure that they're not dumping stolen vans out here. Um, you're gonna slip off and get stuck in Sarge's car. Uh. Hi, right, what are you guys doing back up in here? Go ahead and put the bottle down, sir. Lift it off the side. What we're trying to do is switch it up down. over yeah. and back up on the roads and get it down. Okay. Back to the uh, well, I'll just Let's go on back up to your van. Right. I understand that. And we, we always take that in consideration. You need to leave that, yeah. Not gonna, why don't you toss it over there? No, I meant fell three back days. off a cliff down in that creek bed. They tried okay. to climb a hill and it kind of like slid back in the mud and went over. Uh -huh. And it, it was just barely hanging there. Okay, did anybody get hurt? I don't know. Yep. It's real pretty when you It'll take underneath. you down there. Let's do it this way. It's pretty incredible nobody got hurt or killed on this thing. It's incredible he was even able to get out of this vehicle and walk away. It had to be a heck of a ride. It's just barely hanging on them rocks. People use these paths to go four-wheeling on um, vehicles like this and, and dirt bikes and stuff like that. But what we get is we get a lot of amateurs back here that don't know what they're doing whenever it comes to four-wheeling, and we end up with situations like this. This is probably one of the worst ones I've seen back in here. We've had them overturned or stuck in the mud all the way up to the hubs, but nothing as incredible as this. This, this one definitely takes the cake. Yep. No, I don't think a, a tow truck could back get in back in here yeah, to it. A lot of yep. I didn't even, even know this land existed until this morning, so. And you guys were going to get it out with this? We didn't think so, but he was thinking he was going to. I've been ready to walk out of this since about 9 o'clock this morning. Have you moved it at all? About three inches. Yeah. We just got started, and uh, this is the first break that we've had all day, and that's when the chopper showed up. And, uh, so much for progress. It's all your fault. My fault? You're the one who called me at home. Putting an intrusion alarm, 1307 North, 80th Street. I went out really broke the law. Next time you ask me if I want to go help, the answer's no. So I'm going Go ahead and collect your equipment, gentlemen. I want to get out here to help, not create well, problems. Well, I understand okay. that. But, yeah, uh, me too. Well, you want all the property and everything? Yeah. No, you're not going to jail. Well, I thought she I'm said saying she you will go stuff. to jail if I see you drive. All of this stuff. Oh, no. See, she wants you to gather this stuff up and get out of here. Oh, I'm getting my team. Well, it looks like he was coming across this path and slid, somehow <laughs> slid, right in between this tree and that other tree and slid it backwards right down off this ledge. And that's where it came to rest, was right down there. And then his friends uh, came in, helped him build these ramps. And uh, they've got lines, winches, going through the trees, trying to winch this thing back up uh, off this ramp. But it doesn't look like it's going to give. It's going to take a tow truck to winch it out, but there's no way to get a tow truck through these woods to get back to it. So I don't know how they're going to get it out of here. You guys know not to come back up in here, right? 
Okay, you don't have a problem with that, right? Okay. No, just have him come out and get his stuff yeah. and go. Don't have him out here working on getting that truck out of here, okay? That's not his problem. His problem is his tools. He can come out and get them and be gone, okay? Oh, man. Guys can't get it started? Whoa, that was a close one. Get one stuck, can't get the other one started. Kind of, sort of. Try not going all this way. Hang on. Um, you're going to slip off. Oh, yeah, I got it made.